prison for 18 years. I couldn't begin to explain to you why they're still here or why we need a month in court to do the right thing. Um, but when people won't do the right thing, it takes a community to come together and to force them. And you guys have done that and it's working and it's going to work. So thank you for coming. And um, please, as this continues on, you know. My name is Donovan Felix, and I taught an artist, you live any time for a kid, you taught Thanks, Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, keep, keep John Harbin and his family in your prayers, this can't be easy. This began with the kind of worst kind of injustice, which was the loss of life of a child, and I, we need to all remember that, and just keep on keeping on, you guys. It's good to see you here, and it's making a difference, and it's making a difference for them, and, and they can't be there today, but tonight they can watch the news, and they can see all of you here um, in their place, and it matters. You know, it prevents them from being invisible, too. So thank you for coming, and I'm sure Travis will do a couple more songs, and Shirley and Victor should be down here soon to... It's no longer about their innocence. The facts are in place. The people that have did it have stated they did it. This is about the judicial system as a whole, in the eyes of the Native people. That's right. Is it going to be just? Yeah. It's time now for our people our young men to be exonerated of this crime and set free. Those convictions are built on a foundation of sand that will wash away when all the truth is presented during this evidentiary hearing. We know that cops work hard for arrest and we're not here to bash all the cops. We know lawyers work hard for convictions, but at what cost did those officers, police officers and attorneys work? I can tell you, they worked at a cost of 18 years of our four young men's lives. They stole it from them. And there needs to be accountability. And I don't mean to speak in anger, but I am getting pretty frustrated after so many years that people are working, they're admiring justice in bureaucracy. They're hiding behind legal proceedings. And forgive me, my bishop, but it seems like they're doing a cover my ass operation. Don't forget this needed, Shirley. Preach it, sister. <laughs>